Good morning. Um, sorry, I'm a little late in posting this. Just stuff going on here. Um, it is Wednesday, April 22nd, and Earth Day. For us, it's field trip day. So what I've got today, I was thinking like, okay, what could I do that's maybe connected to Earth Day? And, you know, I could do <clears throat> all kinds of stuff, but I thought of the thing that maybe um, connects to our world the most of muse as far as museums go is the Smithsonian. I don't know if anybody's ever been to the Smithsonian. It's in Washington, D.C., but it is unbelievable. Um, the Smithsonian is huge. It has over 158 million items across 19 museums and libraries and research institutions and a zoo. And there's even um, other museums in New York. It's ginormous. So I've got links here to some of the things that might interest you. The National Portrait Gallery, which is exactly how it sounds. Um, portraits from all over the country and the world. So all kinds of, of things there, if portraits are your thing. You've got the Museum of Natural History, and there's even a virtual tour link here if anybody's interested in checking that out. African Art Museum, um, a design museum, Cooper Hewitt Design Museum, which is actually in New York City now. Museum of African Art and American Indian Art. So like I said, some of those are in DC, some of them are in New York, but there's a lot in there, which is enough for you guys to look around. But what I found just by stumbling through was this thing called Smithsonian Open Access. And I'm like, what the heck is this? So I posted the video for you just to kind of get a quick view of how much is there at the Smithsonian, what they're doing. They are digitizing 2D and 3D items from their collections and they plan to eventually be able to digitize everything. They want to do at least 3 million items in 2020, which is unbelievable. And um, right now they have 2.8 million items available for access. So what I was looking through here, I'm like, well, I don't understand. So there's, you know, basically frequently asked questions like, can I use these images? And the answer is yes. So it's it's um, Creative Commons, meaning you can use it for whatever you want. There's um, just, you know, usage statistics and updates about it. And then ways that people use them and then there's remixes of how people use it they're encouraging people to put it on social media so they can see how these things have been remixed by students by professionals it's pretty crazy so what i want you to do is search here for anything i mean literally anything the weirder the better um i don't really care what you search for it can be something super simple it can be something super specific but <clears throat> like if i search for mammoth because remember, it's a gajillion types of museums. Um, what they're going to do is search through all of their images and find photos of artifacts or um, screen scanned like artwork, um, anything that's connected. So it found almost 1,500 results. It tells you it's got websites, one 3D um, collection images, and then you can filter by certain things if you want. So there's paintings of mammoth hot springs. There's pieces of mammoths. Um, there's the photo of one set up in the museum, like a data collection. It's pretty crazy. So what I want you to do is search for anything. It takes a minute because it's a really big collection. Let's just, oop, I got some more here. Um, I'm just going to go up to the painting. And when you click on it, so this is in the American Art Museum. It'll give you some details about the artist year object number because they've got to identify everything in the museum, how big it is, um, all kinds of stuff. You can look at it larger, but you can also right here download. It's telling you here with these icons that it's Creative Commons Zero, which means you there are no rights reserved. You can use it in any capacity. So when you download it, it gives you options for small, large, high res, TIFF, or JPEG. Just go to JPEG and download it. Thumbnail image actually would be fine too now that I think about it because it's probably quite large, but it downloads to the bottom of your screen so it's in your downloads in your Chromebook. What I'd like you to do is go back to our Padlet here, which I've got open right here, and I'm <clears throat> asking what you found at the Smithsonian. So you're going to make sure that you're signed in, right, so that your name will appear, and you're going to go to um, Upload, and you're going to go to Pick File. From your computer and then in your downloads should be in there this is what i was worried about if it's a high res it might take a minute now that's odd that it's sideways if you can fix it great if you can't oh it's so stretched well i can live with it but um bonus points if you tell us what this is mammoth hot springs painting um 
then you just add it in. So what I see is your name at the top here. And then what I've been doing is I've been going through and I've been liking when I look at yours so I can tell and mark it off of my attendance. But um, that's what I want you to do today. And I forgot to link it. I'm going to add it right now. But if you have not seen the Night at the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian, today seems like a great day to do that. So I'll put the preview um, and the YouTube link up on our post too because that's a winner. And then you can actually see the Smithsonian in person through the eyes of the, the movie, which is pretty awesome. So I hope you guys have a great day, a happy Earth Day, and I look forward to seeing what you find.